This is how I keep the heat up in my fruiting chamber as well as the humidity. I've got a fully submersible aquarium heater. This guy here it goes up to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. And then this here is a hose that I run in through a hole in the side from a small aquarium heater. And you can see it's got the diffuser stone on it so the tiny little bubbles come up spread lots of humidity you can see the humidity all around my fruiting chamber there is a little bit of water that gather, gathers at the, the bottom you could probably modify your fruiting chamber by lifting it up a bit drilling a hole in the bottom and putting a tray so any excess moisture would drip down through the hole into the tray and you wouldn't have to worry about moisture gathering. I haven't really had a problem with that. The moisture on the bottom just keeps it more humid for me and I haven't had uh, any contamination because of it. So this is what works for me. And this is pretty decent size mason jar. It's, I like the tall skinny ones to use in my fruiting chamber. There you have it.